and listen, I'm not going to say last year's schedule was cake, right? When you play Oklahoma, it's never really that easy. How easy can your schedule be? But last year's schedule for a Big 12 team was pretty damn easy. And, and the fact that they weren't even close to competitive is mm-hmm. nuts. nuts. Yeah, it was very disappointing. I, I was – People can ask me, like, how you feel about the hire? I'm like, well, I'm not ecstatic about it because, like you said, I, I nope. don't think Louisville wanted him. Um, and everybody said, well, you know, you, you're probably pretty ecstatic when you got uh, Luke. I was like, actually, not really because he was a failed head coach at Ohio State. So it wasn't like he's not Luke going to, to Wisconsin from UC. He's coming from Ohio State where it's like, I hope he does good. And I'm like, I hope Satterfield does good. But, dude, I'm like – and I'm one that, like, you have to leave – give guys three years. I, I 100%. 100%. So, I mean, I'll – it's not looking good. I'll, I'll put it to you that way. They are signing some guys. They got to get a quarterback. That's the big, biggest thing is they have to have a quarterback because uh, they just didn't have one this year. But we'll see. I, I'm going to give them another two years. Now, that's where I'm at with, with Wes Miller. And I, and what's scaring me with, with him is – I don't know. They they don't they, – Elliot, they don't show up for big games. And I love Wes Miller. I love what he's doing. I love th- that he has embraced the UC history. He brings back – you know the guy, the the, the older Bearcat to put it behind the the, the the bench and everything. I love all that stuff. I like his energy. I love his recruits. For some reason, his teams are not ready for big games. And and, and ho- I'm hoping to be wrong, but this Big Twelve is scaring me because, dude, we talked about this before the show started. We were shooting the ball lights out, got a cross town shootout. We can't hit the broad side of a barn. It, lo- it looks like a McCurry coach team and Xavier is always just throwing the ball at half court. And it's going in. It, it drives me insane. I know I just rambled on there, but I'll let you guys speak on that. Well, no, and, and you're right. I And again, Wes Miller, here's the thing. North Carolina wanted Wes Miller. Yeah. North Carolina wants him, and I still think they do want him. Mm-hmm. The issue with Wes now is if he continues this trend, nobody is going to want him. It's no, it's no, it's no, you know, mystery that you see is kind of a stepping stone program, right? That's in football and in basketball. You you saw it with Mick Cronin. You're seeing it with uh you're seeing it with Luke Fickle. Everywhere you go, it's you know you don't think of UC basketball with, a little less than, than football. We've had, we've, a little less, but it's still it's here, but, we're yeah, not a blue blood. I think no. UC you see basketball is a top twenty five program of all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. But it's not a blue blood and people will always want those higher up, especially Wes uh, Wes Miller, who played for North Carolina, who yeah. who loved Roy Williams. Roy Williams loved him mm-hmm. and all that connection. Saying all that right now, you're looking at a UC team who is lost. Mm-hmm. And I don't blame Wes Miller for the first two years. I want to make something very yeah. clear. John Brannon poured gasoline over this friend or over this program. And lit, lit a match, set it on fire. It's set it on like, fire. It's like when, when, when Nancy Z- Z- uh, Zucker did the same thing when when Hugs out and Mick Cronin had trapped for right. three years. That's so. right. And it's it's it, it was a com- it was disheveled. The program was dismantled, tore apart. Uh, we had a NBA player in Tari Eason who transferred halfway through a season because John Brandon didn't know what he was doing, <laughs> and I and West Miller had to take over all of that and, and try to find wins. Right now, though. This is the first real year with Wes's guys in here, right? And it's it's UC kind of gave them they UC makes this schedule and it's a cakewalk non-conference schedule. I mean, you take a look at yeah, these right, opponents. Right. This is terrible. Mm-hmm. They did that because they probably knew what they were getting into when you get into the Big 12, which is the best basketball conference in the country by far. And 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 right now what you're seeing I think is a team that was accustomed to playing these terrible teams and now they somewhat lost a little bit of their rhythm when they got rudely awakened up by Xavier in the, at the Cintas Center. And then you saw I was at God, I was at that U.S. Bank game against Dayton when the well, fan, yeah, the, the Dayton Invitational, where it was a freaking yeah. Dayton home game, basically. It was ninety five percent Dayton fans. I could not believe the, the Bearcat fans did not show up. I, I mean, I I I wanted to go, but Elliot, I worked that Saturday. So I had been up since one fifty five a.m. and went to the Bengals game. I was I went home, took a nap to make sure I could wake up and watch the game. <laughs> I, there's no way in hell I could have made it to the game, but I was shocked that there wasn't more, at least half and half, you know, yeah. Bengals, or Bearcats Flyers. Uh, and that says a lot. And I, and I got people who yelled at me uh, this past uh, summer when I was saying, hey, guys, you know, the Reds are in a playoff race. Maybe we should have more than 6,000 people there on the last 14 games of the season, right? Maybe. And then I got, well, the gas is expensive. I got all these excuses. So I back off that now. Everybody do what you want with your money. But I'm saying when UC is playing in Cincinnati and we have 75% Dayton fans there, that's a problem. That's a problem. And, And I'm not saying, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. But if you're a fan of UC and you're like, well, why are there so many Dayton fans there? And you're sitting at home. I don't know what to tell you because this is, it was just brutal. But anyway, I was there. Um, 
and it was a massacre. It was a slaughter from the get go. They look lost. They, they, I, I don't think there's an identity with this team. I don't know who the leader is. Uh, Wes Miller needs to bring it together because I'm unfortunately Wes Miller is this year and next year away. Next year is the last year. Yeah, I'm if, with you. Yeah. If we don't, if we can't pull something together here, this is over. Yeah, and the thing I'm like, what, what the 